Introduction Dual aspect principle is one of the basic principles of accounting. This principle implies that every transaction has two aspects, debit and credit. In this chapter, we will learn about accounting equations and its rules. Meaning of accounting equation An accounting equation can be expressed in the following forms. Assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. A is equal to C plus L. Or, capital is equal to assets minus liabilities. C is equal to A minus L. Or, liabilities is equal to assets minus capital. L is equal to A minus C. Rules for accounting equations. Capital. Capital is shown on the liabilities side of the balance sheet. Reserves. Reserves are undistributed profits, hence are shown as an addition to the capital on the liability side. Expenses or losses. These are shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Furniture. This is a fixed asset and is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Building. This is a fixed asset and is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Machinery. This is a fixed asset and is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Cash in hand and is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Cash at bank and is shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Creditors and is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Loans and is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Bank overdraft and is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Profits. These are shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Accrued incomes. These are outstanding incomes which have been earned but not yet received. Outstanding expenses. These are outstanding expenses which should have been paid but not yet paid. Prepaid expenses. These are such expenses which have been paid in advance. Incomes received in advance. These are such incomes which have been received in advance. Interest on drawings. And is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Interest on capital. And is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Bad debts and is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Cash discount and is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet. Now let us understand these rules with the help of some transactions. Transaction 1. Ganesh started business with cash 1 lakh rupees. This transaction increased cash in assets by 1 lakh rupees and capital by the same amount making the total of both the sides equal. Transaction 2. Ganesh purchased goods for cash 20,000 rupees. This transaction added goods worth 20,000 rupees on the asset side and decreased cash by the same amount. Transaction 3. Ganesh purchased furniture for cash 15,000 rupees. This transaction added furniture worth 15,000 rupees on the asset side and decreased cash by the same amount. Transaction 4. Ganesh purchased goods on credit for 25,000 rupees. This transaction increased goods by 25 rupees and added creditors on the liability side by the same amount. Transaction 5. Ganesh sold goods for cash 10,000 rupees. This transaction decreased goods by 10,000 rupees 
and increased cash by the same amount. Transaction 6. Ganesh sold goods on credit for 15,000 rupees. This transaction decreased goods by 15,000 rupees and added debtors on the asset side by the same amount. Transaction 7. Ganesh paid salary to his employees amounting 15,000 rupees. This transaction decreased cash by 15,000 rupees and capital by the same amount. Transaction 8. Ganesh received commission of 5,000 rupees. This transaction increased cash by 5,000 rupees and capital by the same amount. Transaction 9. Ganesh sold goods costing 10,000 rupees for 14,000 rupees on cash basis. In this transaction, there is a decrease in goods by 10,000 rupees and increase in cash by 14,000 rupees. This implies that Ganesh earned a profit of 4,000 rupees which will be added to the capital. Transaction 10 Ganesh paid 15,000 rupees to creditors. This transaction decreased cash by 15,000 rupees and creditors by the same amount. Transaction 11 Ganesh received 8,000 rupees from debtors. This transaction increased cash by 8,000 rupees and decreased debtors by the same amount. In expressing transactions in the form of accounting equation, the following steps are involved. Analyze the transaction to ascertain the components of accounting equation. A certain nature of effect of the transaction on the components record the effect on accounting equation in monetary terms by putting plus or minus before the amount recorded for affected components or subcomponents. Find out new equation after balancing the effect of the recording. Take the above equation as old equation for the next transaction. From the viewpoint of accounting equation, transaction may be put into two categories. Transactions affecting only two accounts. Transactions affecting more than two accounts.